Hey guys, you might think quick shots are for beginners, but they allow anyone to do awesome drone moves and get epic videos. They also come in really handy if you're recording yourself doing activities such as hiking, exploring, or just want to show yourself in a cool landscape. But there are a few things you need to be aware of that might mean you don't get the best video possible when using this mode. Let's look at eight simple tips for pro level quick shots that will help you get the best possible clips and set your videos apart from everybody else. Let's jump right in. Let's first take a look at what each quick shot mode does along with an example. In the quick shot menu, the first you will see is the drone. The drone is one of the most used quick shot modes and for good reason. It's great for starting up close to your subject and then once started the drone will fly backwards and upwards to reveal your surroundings. And when using this mode you can set a height limit that the drone will rise up to. Rocket mode is where the drone flies straight up into the air and at the same time gimbals the camera downward facing your subject. Next up is the circle mode. In this mode, the drone will circle around your subject much like an orbit. If you select the helix mode, the drone will fly upwards and away from your subject as it spirals around. Another cool quick shot mode is the boomerang. In this mode, the drone flies an oval path around the subject you have selected. The drone will start close to the subject, it will get further away as it does the oval before returning back to the subject much like a boomerang. Lastly, the asteroid quick shot is similar to the rocket, which flies straight up and away. But this time the asteroid finishes with a stitched view of your surroundings that shows in a 3D effect globe. Okay, now that we know what each quick shot mode does, let's look at some simple tips to take them to another level and help you get epic looking footage. When using a quick shot, did you know that if you move the drone will actually track you? This means that you can add movement into your clips and make them much more dynamic and exciting. And again, this is super useful if you're out recording by yourself. Let's take a look at a few examples. In this first one, we have selected the drony quick shot mode, but then after hitting go, instead of standing still, I walk towards this cliff edge. The drone tracks this move while doing the drony to slowly reveal our surroundings as I walk, creating this awesome clip. In this next example, we are using the helix move, and the drone is both circling and ascending while at the same time tracking my movement to create another awesome video that works great for starting as a close up before showcasing your surroundings in an epic way. When doing quick shots that fly high, such as the drone or rocket, you may notice that around halfway through the move, the drone does a small bump that can sometimes mean the video is not smooth from start to finish. The reason this happens is because as the drone gets high, it loses the tracking of the subject, such as yourself, and instead changes to a location marker. And you can see this happening on the screen here. This doesn't happen all the time, but it's more likely to happen the higher the drone gets, and if you're wearing similar colored clothes to your location and don't stand out as much. A way I have found to prevent this is instead of drawing a small box around your subject, draw a very large box across most of the screen, then hit go. The drone will switch again to a location marker, but this time it does it within the first few seconds, meaning you can trim that part out in your video editor and have a nice smooth movement for the rest of the clip. You can also use this quirk to your advantage. As the drone does a rocket quick shot and is tracking you, if you move, the drone will follow you. But once it changes to a location marker, you can actually walk out of frame and the drone will stay in place, creating this really awesome shot that could be a great ending to a sequence. Now, before we take a look at the next clip to help you get pro level quick shots. I just wanted to say a big thanks to today's video sponsor, which is Wirestock. Wirestock is a tool that helps you take the clips you capture with the DJI Mini 3 Pro or any other drone and easily sell them as stock to potentially make a little bit of side income. It's as simple as uploading the drone clips you have captured to their website and they distribute it to all the major stock marketplaces to make things even easier, you can use easy submission and they will go through and add all the metadata to each clip for you. This is great because it means you can focus on getting awesome footage, edit it, upload it, and let Wirestock handle the rest. The 
best thing about Wirestock though is that you don't need multiple accounts on all the stock marketplace websites. You only have one account and one dashboard to track everything, including how many downloads you have had and more importantly, the earnings for each clip. Wirestock also automatically creates a portfolio page for you and you can use this to sell your stock directly to potential buyers by sending them the link. So if you want to try selling your DJI Mini 3 Pro footage as stock, then head to the link in the description where you can get started right now. Lock exposure. As the drone does a quick shot move, it will go from light areas to dark areas or from facing the horizon to pointing straight down. And if you're using auto mode, this will mean that the exposure is constantly changing and these exposure shifts can be very noticeable and not look very good. Luckily, there is a really simple step to stop this happening and that is locking the exposure. To do this, just tap the C2 function button on the back of the controller if you're using the DJI RC, that's the one with the screen, or the FN button on the top left of the RCN1 controller until you see a prompt saying AE lock on. If you don't have the function button set to lock exposure, you can do this by going to settings, control, and then scroll down to button customization. Then select the C2 button and choose AE lock. Once you have all exposure locked, the exposure will no longer change during a quick shot move and this will make your clip look much more professional. Now, another really important thing to remember is that the DJI Mini 3 Pro does not have sideways facing sensors. So if you're doing a quick shot such as the circle or helix, you need to be careful that there are no obstacles the drone could potentially hit. If at any time you think the drone is potentially heading towards an obstacle, simply press the pause button on the controller and the drone will instantly stop the quick shot and hover in place. This is super useful to know, as it means if you're hiding the controller behind your back as you don't want it in the video, you can have your finger on that button at all times and simply press it if you want the drone to stop at any time time. Another tip that will help you find more ways to use quick shots more often and that you might not know about is that quick shots can work for more than just people. Line your drone up facing the point of interest, in this case this rock formation, select the mode you want to use and we're going to use the drone. Draw a box around the subject and hit go. As you can see the drone locks onto the rock formation, slowly flying back to show more of the landscape it sits in creating this epic clip. Here is another example using the circle mode to capture a beautiful orbit of this orange safety ring. And the best part is you don't need to make any inputs on the controller to pull off these awesome moves. Check resolution. Now here is a top tip that will prevent you going out capturing lots of clips with your drone and then coming home and realizing they're all in the wrong resolution. Normally you would select the video resolution by pressing the resolution and FPS icon on the bottom right of the controller and selecting a resolution. However, when you change into quick shots mode for the first time, it won't carry these settings across and will automatically default to 1080p mode. So make sure when you change into this mode to always check the bottom right to make sure the resolution is set correctly. Oh, and here's another top tip. Quick shots also work in vertical mode. So if you're capturing clips for social media, such as Instagram or TikTok, you don't need to record in a horizontal aspect ratio and then crop the video in post to use these modes. You can simply press the vertical mode button and then use quick shots in the exact same way you would if you were recording in horizontal video mode. Create transitions. One of the big benefits of this mode is that the drone does the moves very consistently time and time again, and this is repeatable. This makes it really useful for creating cool transitions such as the spin orbit. To do this, we first need two clips. For the first, start with a location or subject and put the drone in the air, then select the circle quick shot mode and draw a box around the subject before hitting go. Then in a second location, point the drone towards the subject and try to get the height and gimbal angle the same as the first clip. Then select the circle mode and most importantly, make sure to set it to go in the same direction as the first video. Again, hit go and let the mode run. Then in your favorite video editor, put the two clips together and add a speed ramp up towards the end of the first clip and a speed ramp down from the start of the second clip. This creates this awesome transition 
That looks super cool. Reverse the moves. With the DJI Mini 3 Pro, we have six quick shot modes available to use, but we can actually create more by simply reversing them in our video editor. For example, the rocket is a great mode for starting close to your subject before it rises up and showcases the location your subject is in. However, what if we want to start high and then punch in on our subject for a close up? Well, we can do that easily by first capturing a rocket quick shot move by putting the drone in front of the subject, drawing a box around them, hit and go, and letting the mode run. Then in our favorite video editor, we simply reverse this clip to get the desired effect and this awesome video. Again, we could do this with a drony move to instead of having it pull back away from the subject, we could have it slowly move in to get closer to them. So there you have it. Eight simple tips for pro level quick shots. And I really hope these tips help you get better videos and be able to use your drone in a more creative way. Now, if you liked this video and you learned something new, please let me know by giving me the thumbs up and clicking that like button down below. And if you love all things drones and want to know how to get better photos and more cinematic videos with your drone, then I recommend you check out my channel where I have a ton of other content to help you level up your drone game. Make sure the subscribe button is ticked and that the notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you want to stick around and see a few more of them now, here's a few I personally recommend and I'll not keep you back any further. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you over there.